this is the last video in this week uh, process mining. So process mining is uh, like uh, getting a process models from the temporal data. Uh, it is commonly used in uh, uh, customer care centers, uh, banking or in the healthcare sectors uh, where uh, suppose the call center person calls you first okay. Based on your responses, your profile responses, what is the next process to do? If uh, there are branch out into three or four responses, what is the next process? Should we send an email? Should we call him back again? And what is the process of applying credit card uh, to the end of credit card closing? What is the process of taking a loan start to loan end? So this basically associated with start to end, what is the process? And it has been used uh, heavily in a bank sector or, um, or in a customer care sector. But this also can be applied to education data. Uh, very few researchers actually use process models for education data. It is interesting actually uh, if you know what is process model and you can also apply and you can understand how the students um, interaction behavior in a complete uh, process. So there are uh, different algorithms to develop the process model fuzzy minor, alpha, uh, alpha minor or eustreak minor. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and read about this, but let us look at one of these model in this uh, video. So the process model, uh, if you want to know uh, the process mining software, more about process models or fuzzy miner, I recommend you to read these two papers. Uh, these two papers are not for your assignment or, or anything, this are extra, course, uh, extra work for you if you are interested to understand what is a process model and it gives you examples, how it is created and everything. So especially the authors, uh, the Van der Alst is actually one who created the tool which we are going to use in this course. So process mining analyzes temporal sequence data to develop a process model that contains set of nodes, uh, events or actions and edges uh, transition between actions or nodes. Um, if you see nodes and edges, you might have uh, remember that in last week video, we computed a state transfer diagram. We mentioned there is a node and edge uh, kind of things, exactly the same kind of uh, patterns we will use process um, in process model. So nodes can be the actions and the transition between actions is called as edges. It is the aim is to develop the abstract process model and there are two key metrics significance and correlation. Um, somehow it happens always I have two key metrics. Uh, two only two things to remember in each algorithm. Let us keep uh, see the two key metrics in this model also like a process mining significance and correlation. So what is note suppose there is an action read, there is an action quiz. This is considered to be node, node A is read, node B is quiz. Okay? The transition between these nodes like read to quiz transition is edge. Okay? Maybe this goes to watch video. This is another edge. Okay, this is node one, node two, node three. So there are two metrics: significance and correlation. We will see what is two metrics for this uh, uh, nodes and edges. So significance is a measure for both nodes and edges uh, by relative impactance of their occurrence compared to the total occurrence. Um, simple it is uh, the, the node or edge that occur more frequently are considered to be more significant compared to uh, uh, other nodes and other edges. Um, for example, it is simple uh, we will see a detailed example for nodes and edges computed in a some sequence, but I just want to give you the example of nodes and edges and significance here. Um, for example, there is an action read, uh, watch video, uh, quiz, read. The uh, and uh, quiz. Okay, so what is the most significant action here is read, which occurred one, two, three, four, five times. So most significant action is read; it occurred five times. So we'll be given first one value for significant. Relative to this particular actions, other uh, significance of other actions are considered. For example, V occurred uh, twice. 2 by 5 it will be 0.4, quiz occurred twice, 2 by 5 will be 5. Significance of 
watch video is 0.4, significance of quiz is 0.4 related to the most significant action that is R, that is read, read is 1. Okay? That is how this uh, significance is computed. Significance Significance is not only computed for um, the nodes, also for edges. Which edge occurs more uh, repeatedly compared to the other edges? If we have more read, read to quiz compared to other edges, say quiz to watch video or quiz to uh, um, quiz to simulate or read to watch video, then this will be uh, read to quiz will be the more significant. That will be one other significance will be computed based on that value. Okay? And what is correlation? Correlation is how closely each two actions uh, occur always like uh, which uh, pattern is more frequent. Basically, it is a pattern of two actions like read and quiz occurs most uh, uh, relatedly most occur uh, patterns then that will be more correlated compared to the other things. When I think all two events are closely related, if read occurs always quiz occurs with that. So, correlation is computed. This is exactly what we did in uh, state transition diagram that is kind of a correlation here. Okay? Let us see a simple example that is a temporal uh, data. So, there is a sequence of actions A, A, B, A, B, A, A, B. So, can you compute state transition diagram for this particular sequence? We completed last week video, but can you repeat it here in this week? After you create a state transition diagram, resume the video to continue. So, I am not going to show the state transition diagram that is you might have done it because we discussed that in the last week. Let us look at what is process model for that particular sequence of data and uh, we use a fuzzy minor algorithm. There are other algorithms like alpha minor, u streak minor each has a different uh, behavior, but let us look at the fuzzy minor uh, in this course. Sequence of actions is A, A, B, A and B, A, A, B, right? So, let us see. A occurred 5 times, okay? that is a most significant action. So, A is equal to 1 because A occurred 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times and B occurred 1, um, one 2 and 3 times which means B occurred 3 by 5, the significant of action B or the node B is 0 0.6 in this particular sequence related to the most significant action that is A that is equal to 1, right? So, 0 0.6. Similarly, what is the correlation uh, that uh, we saw that in a state transition diagram, uh, what is the uh, transition probability of A to B? Significance of edges also can be computed, you can compute it. Let us look at the correlation for this example. Ye, there are how many actions? So, let us look at the correlation in detail. Um, uh, how many actions which A to X, the X can be A or B? How many actions which for A to B and how many actions for A to A? Right? Uh, A to X, the 1. 2, 3, oh sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 actions, uh, the 5 transition from A uh, state A. In that, uh, A to A is 1 and A to A is 2. So, which means A to B will be 3, right? 3 plus 2 equal to 5. So, so, the correlation of A to B is 3 divided by 5, uh, the 3 divided by 5 is a 0 0.6. So, the correlation of that is uh, 0.6. So, this is 0.6, okay? And correlation between B to A might be different 1, 2, so 2, uh, so it will be 2 compared to, oh, there are only 2. So, this will be high, there is no self correlation. So, this is the self correlation A to A will be 0.4, sorry. 2 by 5 equal to 0.4. So, yeah, you can compute significant and correlation. It is not that uh, we have to compute significant and correlation, uh, that is enough for a fuzzy minor. Uh, it is important you have to apply set of algorithms uh, to create the process model on this set of uh, metrics. So consider you have these two metrics, uh, significance and correlation, and you have uh, seven actions uh, in your learning environment. You computed this process, uh, this kind of process model. 
start to look like a spaghetti right it has a uh, lot of axes going from one node to each node how to abstract this the process model is creating the abstract model from the temporal sequence data how to abstract this for fuzzy minor we apply three uh, rules that is the rules we are going to talk about for fuzzy minor for other algorithms rules might change ok. The basic is significant correlation let us look at the rules for fuzzy minor. Highly significant nodes are preserved ok, the nodes which are more significant are preserved we will not remove those nodes. So, consider you have a node A, node B, node C, N, e, highly significant nodes are reserved. So, the suppose consider the node significance of A is E, point, point 0.8, point 0.7, point 0.1, point 0.3. Highly significant node that is A, B, C will be preserved. We may remove these two nodes. What will happen to these nodes? Let us read the second rule. Less significant nodes that are highly correlated into correlated or aggregated into clusters. Consider these two nodes are less correlated, say less significant 0.1 and 0.3, it is less significant, but have a very high correlation. For example, uh, the the relation between these two is a uh, 0.8 oh sorry 0.2 so this is 0.2 so this particular uh, uh, node is less significant but it always occurs if it occurs less significant means it occurs very very uh, very few time uh, in the sense uh, it occurs how to say it occurs uh, only say 3 times compared to the A. So, if A is 30 it should be 3 times it occurs very less time but it is always a co occur with the node A if that is the case uh, then we can combine this aggregate this to create a cluster ok. This node can be combined uh, into a cluster 1 or something like that, something like that ok. That is what this particular thing says. And less significant nodes, the node which is less significant with low correlation with others are dropped. For example, uh, this node is less significant, consider the point is less significant. It has a more uh, self occurrence say 0.7 and it has a co occurrence only 0.1 and from here if it is a very less correlation with any of the node but it occurs it also occurs very very few times say 9 times out of 30, 30 actions or out of A occurring over 30 times this occurs only 9 times then you can drop this particular node. Okay, this node is not correlated with any uh, uh, significant node or this node is not significant at all. So, it can be removed to reduce the complexity of the uh, process model that is the idea of fuzzy manner. Hope you understood these three steps it is very important you know highly significant nodes preserved less significant and less correlated is dropped less significant and highly correlated nodes are combined to create a cluster that is a very basic steps in fuzzy manner. So, to change the abstraction level, uh, it is not that uh, fuzzy minor can be uh, removed completely uh, like uh, uh, system comes up with the own model. You might say no, no there are something I really want a significant system more important sometimes I want more correlations is important then you can use some particular uh, formula uh, that is called again uh, two values that is node cutoff and edge cutoff. Uh, to remove the nodes which significant is lower than this. So, point 0.3 should we remove it or not? It is your decision. You can say all the nodes which are significant less than 0.4 should be removed. So, you can put a node cutoff say 0.4. So, node cutoff uh, we saw in last slide 0.3 is low significant or high significant we do not know. But you can define the threshold to say hey, this 0.3 uh, is uh, less than 0.5 my threshold is 0.5 whichever node which has significant less than 0.5 should be removed. So, we can put the node cutoff as 0.5. And edge cutoff uh, to filter out the edges which utility values below the cutoff. What is utility value? 
utility value is a combination of significance of h also the correlation value of the h. I said that uh, h also can have a significant value. So, that as a combination weighted combination of significance of h and the correlation of h. The weight you are of course depends on you. So, we want to have a more weightage to the significance keep 1. If you want a less weightage to significance uh, then keep 0 then it will be uh, 1 into correlation you will have more uh, weightage to the correlation value. Applying this particular formula you can uh, modify the process model. Okay, the fuzzy miner might try to give you the abstract model you can say because you know the research questions you are the one researcher you want to create the model it is not that uh, any generic model can be applicable to you. Then you can say no I want to keep all the nodes I do not want to remove any nodes but I can ok to remove some edges which has less correlation value. Then if it is less correlation value then put u r equal to uh, 1 and the correlation value goes off only the significant edges are stayed back. That, that reduces the complexity of the uh, process model. Uh, please uh, look at this particular equation, it is very simple, uh, just you have to understand how the abstraction is happening using node cutoff and edge cutoff, only two things. In the process model software, we you can actually vary this node cutoff and edge cutoff in the software actually, I will show in demo actually, you will understand these things. So, let us look at a uh, example process model applied for one research paper. So, in this paper we applied uh, process mining on learner behavior from uh, one of the OELE that uh, OELE is again is British brain. Uh, we saw in for the uh, SPM and DSM this is British brain and it is set of actions. Let us consider the actions here are a bit different from last uh, paper as the actions is read short, read long. Reading a resource science page for less than 3 seconds, so I will consider as a read short because in 3 seconds you might be looking for 1 or 2 words not really reading. More than 3 seconds is looking is called read long, but also read long as well as upper end read threshold said if you are reading more than say 1 minute it is not actually reading anything you just kept the slide open you went somewhere off. So, we are taking a cutoff between read short, read long. Then we had a link edit uh, support link edit ineffective, the effective link edit we added a link uh, this is correct effective if it is incorrect it is ineffective that is what we try to say. Quiz taken is taking quiz is viewing quiz and his explanation is not actually this paper uh, link is there you can download and read if you want more information. So, what we did we computed this and uh, we created a process model this is the simple frequency between a high scorer versus low scorer high scorer low scorer as I mentioned in last uh, video uh, based on the pre and post test course we group the students into high scoring and low scoring. We try to see the process model for the, these two groups and see is there any difference between the process. If you look at here there is a distribution of each actions for high versus low is given here and that tells that high scorer has done lot of uh, actions compared to the low scorer also by percentage it is more for some actions for example, reach short is more for low, but reach short is not that much 14 percent for high. So, that is also given. So, you can use this table to identify the descriptive analytics you can plot it in a graph and see it. But let us look at the interesting part that is process model. So, in process model we can add a st artificial start and artificial end ok. So, start is here and uh, end is here ok. And uh, this color you know the thickness the, the thickness of the line this is like very thin this is kind of thick and the color is a dark or light gray indicates significance and correlation. So, let me say what is that. So, if you look at this, um, so the thickness and darkness of the edges indicate the significance and the correlation values associated with the edges. For each edge ok, if it is thick ok, it is thick which means it is highly significant this particular edge is significant. If it is dark which means it is highly correlated with these two values ok. So, uh, let us look at the process model, let us understand one process model. So, we did one simple thing we wanted to maintain the process model have a utility uh, value was more than 0.8 or something. So, you can read this paper to understand because we adjusted we do not want to lose any nodes. So, we kept all the nodes node significant is absolutely 0.1 or 0.2 just keep all the nodes and uh, we adjusted the edge cutoff value that is utility ratio value to keep uh, 80 percent of the sequences in the data. 
which is 0.8 means if I want to reproduce sequence of actions from this process model, I should be able to reproduce 80 percent of original uh, sequence data. So, I do not want to uh, abstract too much so that I lose all the value. So, uh, when you do that, do it for a very few number of students. They pick some random 10 students in one group and do it because if you keep all 30 students in a lower group to create the process model, it will become a spaghetti and you lose a lot of information. So, yeah, decide based on what you want to do uh, based on your search question. So, what happened is the, uh, the people in the low group, they started reading and they are doing a lot of short read. That is why the correlation, high correlation here. And uh, after reading, they go to read long and there is a, there's a loop here, they read long, read short. Once they pass this particular loop of read long, read short, if they are in read long, they might go to edit the link uh, in a Betty's brain. After reading, you can create a, uh, you can create a concept map, editing a link. After editing the concept map, they can um, remove some other edits or add edits, they keep on doing edits, there are 3, 4 types of edit actions. It can be combined, there is a relation between these uh, edit actions also. After doing that, uh, edit actions from all these actions, they go and take the quiz, right. So, they read, they create a concept map, then they take the quiz. After taking quiz, they check the quiz answer or they uh, take a notes, uh, they check whether uh, things are right or wrong or after reviewing the quiz, they read the explanation or they go back to read or they compute here or they can take a notes, go to quiz view or they do something. So, this is the set of process of actions a student can do in the uh, that is been uh, sorry, student can do now. It is uh, set of actions the low uh, performing group students did in the process many. For example, they read, read, edit, uh, immediately take quiz, quiz view, explanation, ask for explanation if it is wrong, go back, read again, again come back this and they might end from quiz taken or from this. So, end is very less significant and less correlated just to say what are the notes where the ending notes for these groups. Consider the high group, they start with the same similar uh, read short, read long. Uh, they also do the link edit, link support, most of the link edit actions. They take quiz and uh, they immediately go and uh, look at the explanations and uh, they also not take quiz very often. So, after that they immediately go to read short or they, they, they actually do not care about the quiz view. They take quiz and edit explanation, they go back to read long. This set of extra things, uh, this is not available in the read uh, low group. So, there are few significant difference, uh, behavioral difference that can be identified from the low group versus high group. This paper is to uh, show the process mining or the abstract differences between low group and high group. It is not to say that hey, high group is doing good in this actions or uh, low group is doing good in other actions. And also here we uh, can compare the process model with the sequential pattern mining model. In a process model, we consider the frequency, right, how many times this action happens, but not the time they spend on each action. But when you use process model tool, you have an option to improve the time taken on each action also start and end time. If you do that, you can create a better model, a heuristic minor model. To look at it. I would request or uh, I could recommend you to go and uh, explore the other type of models uh, or like um, uh, not just fuzzy minor, other uh, minor models, other process mining models and uh, see what is the difference and explore and understand. Okay, so, this paper you created, uh, this paper will be part of your assignments, the assignments question means which might be part of your end exam too. Okay. So, in this week we saw what is process mining and uh, uh, you might uh, get the process to mining tool also demoed in this week. So, in this week there are two demos, three different algorithms process mining, SPM and DSM. Uh, Let us continue talking about diagnostic analytics in one more week. Thank you.